Hey guys, this is Tim from DimDrive.com with a quick video on booting Windows 7 on VMware using DimDrive. Now I have a VMware 7 32-bit OS, not a 64-bit, a 32-bit OS just set up to test on VMware. And what I've gone and done is taken my VMware install right here, copied it onto my Dim Drive, which is my Y drive. If we run the Dim Drive program, we'll see I have a 28 gig RAM disk set up on my Y drive. And I can show you the files right here. I believe it's less than 28 gigs, it's 22 gigs. And I just benchmarked my system while I have all this stuff running. And you can see I'm about between six to a little over eight gigabytes per second. That is insanely fast. Now I'm going to show you my VMware here and you'll see it's uh, running. It's pretty fast. Um, I am going to sleep mode it real quick. And this is actually a VMware running on a RAM disk that Dim Drive has set up. <clears throat> and we can confirm that by going into the actual VMware right here. We can edit, go to the options and we can see my disk right here is on my Y drive. So my Y drive is the Y drive that I have set up on Dim Drive. And now we're gonna watch how fast it boots. So I sleep moded it and now it's coming out of sleep mode and there we go. So pretty quick. And we can confirm that this is in fact VMware by doing uh, DXDiag. And you'll see here VMware virtual platform, Windows 7 32 bit. So I'm only able to use right around three gigs of RAM. So this system doesn't actually have that much RAM. Close it, fire up Firefox again. Now we're gonna sleep mode it one more time. And the reason why I use VMware and sleep mode is because I, I do this to browse websites. Um, there are so many exploits in Firefox, Chrome, uh, Dolphin browser, Opera, pretty much any web browser um, that your system can be infected pretty easy when browsing websites. And so what I do is I set up a virtual machine to handle my web browser. So if my virtual machine gets infected, I can revert back my virtual machine to a, a prior state and then not have to worry about anything. The problem with virtual machines are, traditionally they take a long time to load because as we can see, this virtual machine right here is 22 gigs. And while not that excessive in size, 22 gigs from a normal hard drive would take quite a while to load. Um, and so what I'm showing you here is how quickly you can load it using Dim Drive. So we're going to shut it down this time. Now our, our prior startup, let's actually do this one more time. Coming out of sleep mode, I think it took maybe about three seconds or so. And during those three seconds, what it's doing is when it's saving your machine state, it's writing a four gig file and it's writing the VMware image file you'll see right here, the virtual memory file. And then when it's booting, it's reading uh, that four gig file in addition to your actual 19 gigabyte um, VMware image. So one last time, we're gonna watch a VMware booting up from sleep mode. One, two, three, okay, about three and a half seconds. And then we're going to fully shut it down. And then we're gonna boot it as if, you know, you're powering on your system for the first time. And I personally, I don't really shut down my VMware very often unless I'm doing like a Windows patch or some update or, or <clears throat> I wanna take a snapshot of the whole uh, VMware operating system. Um, sleep mode is pretty much the way to go. So we're shutting it down right now. And I just installed, I literally just installed this Windows 7 system. Um, I think it probably has to do some more updates. So hopefully those won't uh, pop up or cause any slowdowns here. But it's uh, shut down right now, completely shut down. If we go back into the VMware 7, you'll notice that we no longer have that four gig uh, virtual memory um, file, that VRAM file. And we're from 22 gigs down to 18 gigs. Um, I have my size 28 gigs, it's pretty excessive. But we're gonna boot right now. So what's happening right now is we're loading the VMware drive, that 18 or 19 gig file off of the uh, dim drive um, disk. And as you can see, I get right around 6,000 um, megabytes per second. So there's, there's gonna be no lag or no delay reading that, drive from, or that file from my hard drive. The only thing that we're waiting on here now is just for your system to actually process the information to, to boot VMware. As you can see here, it's pretty damn quick. So I'm loaded back to my desktop. Um, we're gonna run Firefox one more time. It's pretty instant. We're gonna sleep mode it and then return it out of sleep mode one more time. Doo -doo -doo. You notice in my benchmark from Crystal, uh, Crystal Disk Mark that my 4Ks are one gigabyte per second. 
Now I did that a second ago, and if I Alt Tab, you'll see I have a I have a million windows open. If I closed everything down, my benchmarks would be closer to 9,000 megabytes per second, and my 4Ks and everything would be even higher. Um, so we're gonna boot up uh, VMware right now. You'll notice it vonk super quick as it reads that gigantic file, and we're logged in. So thanks for watching this quick video. Uh, if you have any questions, check out the uh, dimdrive.com website. Um, you notice that there is some information <clears throat> about what Dim Drive does, how it works. There's a video right up here. And in the forum section, we have a great community. Um, something that's growing, um, Dim Drive was only released uh, a few weeks ago. And I do want to show off Mukao's rig. I'm quite jealous of this. He has a system here that is using Dim Drive. He has, uh, let's see here, 24 gigs of RAM of CAS3 um, RAM, which is faster than my RAM by quite a bit. And you'll notice his benchmarks using a uh, dim drive right here. This is something I wanted to show off real quick. He, for his Seagate hard drive, you'll see 8036. For his Vertex 4 solid state drive, 388, 392, which is really nice for a drive. But then you take a look at dim drive, you, you've got almost 11,000 megabytes per second for his top end speed. That's ridiculous speeds. So this is from an actual uh, person posting on our forums, Mukao. And Mukao, if you watch this video, um, shout out to your system. That looks just dead sexy. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching this video, everybody.